Hello and welcome. This is George Crump with Stores Switzerland. As a tie-in to the uh, initial write-up we did on the Drobo Elite, um, wanted to show you the interface a little bit. Here you can see uh, the main uh, da dashboard interface. You can see I've created some volumes. Uh, the ones here that are locked are assigned to uh, other servers in the environment. Uh, and these two right here are assigned to this particular uh, machine. So just real quickly, I'm going to just create a volume just to show everybody how easy that is. You can see that there is a uh, pie chart that uh, shows how much space is used and how much space is free. Uh, and then there's also a, a little Drobo icon up here uh, that kind of gives you a little time slice of how much space is available. So uh, overall, very, very good layout. Uh, to get to the uh, advanced uh, interface, first thing you can do is you can kind of look at the data layout itself, and you can see that there is, uh, right now I have three two terabyte drives in there. Uh, as I wrote in the article, I can mix that any, any way I want to. Um, it shows me how much is free, how much is used. Uh, it shows me that my data is being protected uh, right now. Uh, and then I can go to the tools menu and do various things, shut it down, uh, rename uh, volumes, things like that. Um, I can set for notifications to happen via Growl, which is on the Mac side is a, a, a system-wide notification utility. Uh, the settings that I talked about earlier, uh, here's where you set your admin settings. Uh, this is where you set up your iSCSI uh, settings for the uh, environment. And then finally, uh, this is the spin down if you wanted to take advantage of that. And so far, at least in our initial testing, that's worked uh, just fine. So you can uh, set those different things there. Again, very, very straightforward to set up. Straighted volumes, also equally simple. Click on volume management. It'll list all the ena uh, enabled volumes right now, uh, what the use space is, what their maximum capacity. Again, this system uh, does thin provisioning. So even though I have a two terabyte volume allocated, uh, it only allocated, uh, it's only used 20 gigs of it so far in these two cases. Uh, the, clearly, I don't have that much storage in the unit, so it's, it, it meets all the demands, if you will, of thin provisioning. Uh, so to create a volume, very simple. Uh, create, here's where I talked about in the initial write-up, you can use HF, HFS Plus, uh, a multi-host for VMware uh, type of configurations or none, you can format it later. Just for the simplicity of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and use HFS Plus. Uh, I'm going to configure it, uh, I don't know, for eight terabytes. I'm going to hit continue. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, uh, test volume, showing my creativity. Once you got that in there, you can see the, the volumes that are going to change are highlighted. You can then submit changes, uh, yes, apply changes, and then it'll perform the volume changes. Uh, down here you can see that that new volume shows up. It shows up as unformatted. Um, uh, I found that just ignoring the um, OS commands that when a new volume shows up works best. Uh, now it's going to go through and, and format the volume. Hopefully it won't take too long. Uh, but you can see that come up. The, uh, but again, this is very, very sh straightforward. Uh, this is just a standard iSCSI connection out of the uh, gigabit port uh, on this particular Macintosh. Uh, very simple to do. The iSCSI driver was installed automatically uh, as part of the uh, installation. Uh, so all you do is just move the CD around to your different uh, systems, um, click install, uh, and then it's, it's ready to go. Um, and then everything gets remounted. And then we're ready to go. So uh, all I could do, do now is come down to this test volume, click, a, uh, click the checkbox to mount it. You can see over here that the test volume is becoming live. And it's, uh, that is now ready to go. As far as the uh, Mac thinks, so the OS, it, this looks like an externally mounted uh, hard drive that I can now write uh, data to or uh, do whatever I want to. Um, so as a, uh, just a quick example, uh, I'm going to take my iTunes directory, which on this particular system is relatively small. And 
just copy his list. So it's about uh, four gigs uh, of data uh, copying from the local uh, uh, hard drive uh, to the um, test volume on the robot. So again, very, very simple to do, very simple to set up. We've been uh, very impressed with it. Uh, it's been up and running for about four days now. It's really haven't seen any issues. Uh, we're going to try to fill up a couple of these volumes to uh, uh, then show how the data gets rebalanced and restriped across everything. Uh, but our initial reaction is extremely uh, positive. Thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the article and please come back as we uh, will continue to update this.